I was 17, graduating from high school, I proclaimed to be an atheist or an agnostic and, and went to college with the whole purpose of actually trying to disprove God, disprove spirituality in general because I thought it was a lie. And so I adopted science as, as my religion. I wanted to show everyone that that was, wasn't true and probably the person I wanted to show the most was myself. I had a friend who was from the same hometown that I was in. He came to me one day and he said, hey, do you want to go to church? I just looked at him strange because I was like, well, <laughs> Why would you want to go to church? I remember when he came, he had a kind of rusty red hair because <laughs> the dye didn't work real good and had a little choker around his neck. And you wonder, what's, what's this guy doing here? And I think we all questioned, I wonder what's drawing this guy back? I do a lot of things bad that I think are bad. Now I asked him, I said, what do I do to you know, be accepted by God? And he said, that nothing. He opened the Bible and he showed me that Jesus Christ came to do exactly what I couldn't. He didn't come to make a religion. He didn't come to make you know, bad people good. He came to make dead people alive. College professors came to them and said, we got a, a scholarship for you to attend a prestigious university. He uh, told them, I'm not going to do that. never met any Arabs, I didn't know anything about them. You know, it just seemed very strange to me. You know, we always knew that Noah was somebody that was willing to do hard things. And because really, he's, he's got no other chance, no other, no other source of help. Obstacles are not a barrier to mission work. Tim and I both felt the burden to reach the people of Syria. The large majority of these are, are Muslim background people. They're severely abused and to teach them about Jesus Christ, the Heavenly Father that they can have. How hard it is to leave everything and just to follow the call of God. I'm struggling with the reality. Could, could God really be asking me? You know, it's just the burden becomes so heavy, you know, for the people of the Middle East. I don't know why you're doing it, but if this is what you want, then my life is yours.